I had a, a dream one night where a phone number came through. And it was a Malibu phone number. And I woke up in the middle of the night and I wrote it down in my journal. All right. And in the morning, what do you think I did? Called it. That's right. Called it. And I got a woman's answering machine. And I left a message. And what I said was that I introduced myself. <laughs> I do these kind of things, but I want to get across to you. <laughs> you see, if you don't, you miss out on a lot. You've got to play, be playful in this life. Follow this. Maybe it'll leave you nowhere. You know, maybe it'll be a total dead end, but maybe it won't. You know, you have to try. So anyways, I got her answering machine. I said, I'm Dr. Judith Orlov. Yeah, I'm a psychiatrist. I've written this book, Second Side. I tried to get it back to the shows at the time. And I had a dream, and your phone number came through, and it didn't feel like it called me back. <laughs> and so that day, I got a return call from this woman. Oh, this is so incredible. I just read your book, and I'm a new healer, and I'm just opening a practice, and I just put out a prayer, you know, just for help. And, and um, I just moved into this apartment in Malibu, and you're my first call, and, and all this stuff. And so, what my mind did with it was think, aha, we have a special um, meeting together, we have a special uh, relationship here. And so, I invited her to a workshop I was giving for healthcare professionals that weekend. And I primed them all. I told them the story, and we're all ready for this person. And she walks into the room, and after a few minutes, it was very evident I didn't like her. <laughs> I prepared everybody, and I thought, well, what is this? And I didn't know, and the reason that I didn't like her, why she irritated me, was that she tried to go around healing people. And that irritates me. You know, and say, oh, let me heal you. I, I find that to be very intrusive, and, and it's not my style. But what happened, and the moral of the story is that it didn't really matter what I thought of this woman, because during that workshop, she made a connection with a psychologist there who had breast cancer. And it was this woman who helped the psychologist die. You see? So it made no difference what I thought about her. And it was not about me. You see, I was the messenger. And it just gives me chills even now. When I See, when you have a dream like this, it just continues to fill you. And so I learned so much from this dream. And I learned so much about expectations and what I thought it was, what my mind thought it was. That's the point I want to make to you, my linear mind. Of course, we're all going to jump to these conclusions. But it wasn't so. You see, something else was going on. And so, when you have these dreams, be open to their meaning and the kinds of connections that they can foster.